good afternoon you guys in today's video I want to address lifestyle deflation now we all know about lifestyle inflation when you get a good job that's when you get a car payment that's when you start getting a mortgage that's when you start getting takeout more that's when you start maybe buying alcohol hanging out with friends more often and through all of that you're spending more money obviously because you're making more money. So the more money you make, the more money you spend. Now I'm experiencing the opposite of that, lifestyle deflation. And what is good about this lifestyle deflation is that it forces me to not buy that diet soda. It forces me to not buy that Splenda. It forces me to work, not slack off, and to really value my time. When I had that sales job, when I got a sales job in early August, I was dealing with lifestyle inflation. I was making more money, so I was spending more money. I was spending more money driving people to new places. And those experiences I will never forget. But one of the bad things is I was spending money on my cravings. My cravings at the time were diet soda, Splenda, protein chips, protein bars in the middle of the night, stuff like that, and also pornography, but that doesn't really deal with spending money, but that more deals with just wasting time. Now I quit my job and I'm traveling the country and I'm trying to make ends meet by just doing food and grocery delivery. And the reason I'm doing this is this adventure, this journey, one of the reasons I'm going on it is to serve as a detox. A detox from all the crap that I've put in my body. Through the past three, four days I've been on this adventure, I have let go of diet soda, Splenda, eating protein bars or protein chips in the middle of the night. My diet, I'm trying to keep it as simple and cheap and affordable as possible. I'm trying to stick to just hard boiled eggs, protein shakes, and fruit. Now, some of you might not believe me, but soon I'll do a day in the life. My message in this video is that going through lifestyle deflation, it forces you to spend less money, but that doesn't mean that you're negatively affecting your quality of life. Because I'm doing lifestyle deflation right now, I'm eating better quality food, and I'm really considering what I'm putting in my body. Because diet soda and Splenda has all these lab-made ingredients, all these manufactured ingredients, and all these doctors are saying that you can extend your life 20 years more if you give that up and you get more sleep and you reduce your stress and a few other factors as well. If you believe lifestyle inflation is going to lead you to the dark road of debt and having to stick to your job, having to stick somewhere, then I would recommend going through lifestyle deflation. I've only done it for four days so far, but I'm going to keep documenting on YouTube how I can keep it sustainable until I'm able to monetize my YouTube channel and meet like-minded brothers in order for us to help grow each other in our biggest goals. I love you guys. God bless you. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.